Back with Frankie Carrado and Brian Hayes. Gentlemen, it's time for another edition of Fantasy or Reality. You've both done this before, so you know the rules. I'll make a statement, and you both pick a side. Let's start with the Oilers. Frankie, after re-signing Adam Henrique and bringing in Victor Arvidsson and Jeff Skinner, Edmonton now has the best forward group in the entire league. Fantasy or Reality? That is a reality, Jermaine. Listen, the Edmonton Oilers still have the two best players in the league or two of the best players in the league on their team in McDavid and Dreisaitl. Now you add an offensively driven player like Jeff Skinner and you have Victor Arvidsson who can play with Dreisaitl, meaning you have Hyman on one line who's driving people crazy, Arvidsson on the other line driving people crazy, and you have that third line that was so good in the playoffs coming back. Yes, the Edmonton Oilers forward group is the best in the NHL. Yeah, it's a reality for me as well. I, I love the moves that they made recently, and it comes down to, like Frankie said, the best players. And McDavid's the undisputed best player in the world. I think Leon Dreisaitl, probably the most clutch player in the league. Hyman scores 50. Arvidsson comes aboard. r &H goes everywhere. They're loaded. It's, it's, a, it's an, a piece of art, that forward group out in Edmonton right now. That absolutely is a reality. The Predators went all in on day one of free agency, signing cup champion Steven Stamkos and Jonathan Marcheseau, as well as defenseman Brady Shea, and they also re-signed UC Soros. Hayes, Nashville spent their money wisely, fantasy or reality? Reality. Reality on the short term, for sure. I mean, these are really good players. Stamkos can still play. Marcheseau can play. And they added offense. That's what they've needed historically. Like their whole history in Nashville, it's been about defense and it's been about great goaltending and good coaches. Now it's about pushing the puck forward. It's about scoring and offense. I love what Andrew Burnett brought last year, but they needed some offensive firepower. They bring in Stamkos. They bring in Marcia. So I think they accomplished that. This is a reality. Absolutely a reality, Jermaine. You watch this team play in the playoffs against the Vancouver Canucks, and they just couldn't find that extra goal. It felt like they just they came short on that extra goal. And what did they do? They basically went out and acquired goals. And let's say, you know, Stamkos, Marcheseau, and Brady Shea, for that matter, let's just say they have average seasons as far as goal scoring for them. You know, we're talking 30 goals, 30 goals, and, you know, 8 to 10 goals. They basically acquired a lot of goals that they needed. So, yes, that is money well spent. Man, imagine Smashville going up even another level of intensity. Okay, Calder Trophy winner Connor Bedard finished with 61 points in 68 games in his rookie season. Bedard will have 90-plus points with the Blackhawks next season. Fantasy or reality? We'll start with you, Frankie. That is a fantasy and nothing against Connor Bedard because he will get there at some point and the Chicago Blackhawks are going to try and help facilitate that a little bit this year as they've added some better pieces around him, but not 90 points yet. You know, I think he's going to be pushing in that point per game range. So if he plays 82 games, we're talking 80, 82 points. That's kind of the next benchmark for Connor Bedard. He's in the 60s last year, has a really good year. Push for that this year, and then 90 points is shortly on the horizon. I'm going with reality on this. Special players, generational players, and I think that's what he is. They take massive leaps after that first year. Connor McDavid had that injury his rookie year. He had 100 points his second year. Now, Connor had better players to play with. That is a concern. In Chicago, they don't have that dry subtle waiting for them. Nugent Hopkins waiting for him yet. They're better today than they were at the end of last season. But I think Bedard's a freak of nature in terms of the way he can put the puck in the net and the way that he can operate on the ice. I think he'll get bigger this summer. He'll be more comfortable. I think this guy's going to be blazing. I've got him on Team Canada next February. And in order for that to happen, I think the goals and the points are going to have to continue to push. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going with a reality three-pack here. Bedard hits 90-plus points. Team Canada. All right, Hayes. All right, Bedard led all rookies and all Blackhawks in points this past season, despite missing 14 games due to injury. Gentlemen, thanks for this.